Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Crate and Art. Today we're going to make this cute fabric bunny that I found this frame at the Dollar Tree. So you're going to need one of the frames, a poster board, or some foam core board, a piece of ribbon, some black yarn, and different fabrics, and a couple buttons for the eyes. You're also going to need your glue gun and some glue sticks. So let me show you what you're going to do today. You can take the frame and use it just like it is and cut the back out. Or I already made one and I made a bunch of these with fur and I did a workshop and I also have a video. I'll put that link down there. If you want to make it look like the one on the right that I'm going to use today, you can go watch that video and see how I made that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to glue down some of this polyfill right around the face part. And then I'm going to take this fabric and I want to glue it down past the first wire. You'll see me take it back apart. You want to make sure it's down far enough so when you put the fabric on for the head, it hides it. So then you're going to fold it over on the back, put a little glue, and just work your way around trying to keep it from puckering too much. Add some more glue and fold the fabric around. So just keep doing that to the ear. And then we're going to flip it back around and go back to the front side. And this is where I'm going to take that back apart and I want to pull it down further. So you want to glue that down farther down. And I just took my pair of scissors and snipped that little edge right there to put it down past the ears, in between the ears there. And then you're just going to do the exact same thing on the other ear. So put that glue down past the first wire there and then just add some more polyfill with some hot glue. And then you're just going to fold that fabric right back over top glue one side and then the other side. And you just want to hold that there till it cools down a little bit and just add a little more glue and work your way around to the tip of the ear. Just folding it and gluing it as you go. And you're going to snip that little edge, fold that around, glue it into place, and glue the outside down. And then now we're going to take the front part here around the face and you're going to going to want to fold the edge back. So before you glue it, you're going to want to fold that part. So fold it under and then add a little glue and hold it there till it gets nice and cool so it doesn't keep coming undone here. And then you're just going to kind of glue the edge around as you go. So just fold it under and glue. And then you're just going to glue it around the bottom. And they're just going to keep tucking and pulling. I like to do kind of symmetrical. It keeps it uniform looking and less puckering. So just keep checking on the front side. And then you're just going to pull it, glue it, pull it, glue it. You're just going to keep doing that all the way around. Trying to keep the puckering on the back side of it. There's so many options you could do with this. The material... I just, there's just so many. I picked up this vintage piece at um, like one of those antique malls that you go to and it looked like it was start of a quilt that somebody hadn't finished, but I grabbed them. Anyway, so I went ahead and going to add these buttons and make some whiskers out of that thick yarn. Now you could add no nose or a nose or a button or whatever. I just went ahead and grabbed a piece of pink felt that I had and I'm just going to use that pink felt here and just kind of fold it in half. I couldn't decide if I wanted cheeks or not. So I just decided I'm just going to take that piece and fold it in half and hot glue it. Just like that and then put it right there where the nose goes. I had a couple extra little pieces of white felt and I put them behind the buttons. I just think it adds a little extra. This bunny rabbit kind of reminds me of Hello Kitty version. But I think it's super cute you guys. Now you could add a mouth if you wanted. I just kind of wanted to keep this one a little more simple. But if you go take a look at my other video, you can see um, that we did extra things and added different eyes. But I just wanted to keep it simple. And I think it turned out super cute. So if you guys like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.